she's a waitress, mm-hmm. and he is a wedding singer. Mm-hmm. He's about to get married, and so is she. They're both engaged, and they work at the same on the same gigs. Mm-hmm. And his girlfriend, who is played by Angela Featherstone, mm-hmm. who later was Ross's one night stand in Friends when they were on a break right, when right, he and Rachel were right. on a break she played that part but I looked her up on Wikipedia and she's she's done like all this stuff she was a model and she uh, does all this humanitarian work oh and she's a director now and she's a writer oh wow and yeah really and the documentary I think that she's working on right now is, um, seems really interesting interesting good for her wow yeah uh, and then, so she, they're going to get married, and then she's like, nah, I don't. Mm-hmm. I liked you <laughs> as the rock star who could be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now you're just a wedding singer. Yeah. So there's this theme throughout the movie of just mm-hmm. the wedding singer. Yeah. So he falls in love with Drew Barrymore. She's about to marry this asshole. Mm-hmm. Typical 80s. Wall Street guy. Wall Street yeah. asshole with his fancy car. Mm-hmm. And who knows why the hell those two met up. Mm-hmm. Don't know. But, yeah, he turns out to be this kind of womanizer, Mm -hmm. and Adam Sandler picks up on this, his character Mm -hmm. picks up on this. So, both of their fiancé situations fall apart Mm -hmm. in different ways. When he was supposed to marry this woman, and she broke his heart, he goes back and he has to do his gig, and he does this terrible gig, Mm -hmm. and she's, Drew Barrymore is waitressing, and she sees him. They, They kind of bond, and they strike up a friendship. It's basically, he is in a funk Mm-hmm. after breaking up his right. breaking off his engagement and it was just funny seeing like the professional mm-hmm. wedding singer mm-hmm. killing it mm-hmm. which is kind of funny yeah and then the depressed broken hearted guy mm-hmm. on stage <laughs> crying yeah. on stage yeah that, I thought that was kind of funny but because sort of like we've all had those gigs where we're really up for the gig and then we've had those gigs where we just had a shitty day or a shitty week yeah, and also, somebody, a music director once said to me, singing is different from any mm. other type of performance or, you know, in this field, mm-hmm. like any other type of instrument, because mm-hmm. it's like so personal. And it is very revealing. It's singing. like bearing your soul, mm-hmm. he said. And so you got to be really careful with singers, he said. He, and, and this stuck with me mm-hmm. for a really long time that I, 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 maybe it's a singer thing, but it just takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. Um, You can't really perform. You can't really fake it. You can't cheat the notes. Frank Frank Sinatra once said, you can't cheat the notes. And that can mean a lot of things. You Mm -hmm. can't slide into, you know, you got to hit the notes, right? Mm -hmm. But there also needs to be a sincerity and an honesty about the way you tell the story. Mm -hmm. And you can't really fake it. And so it's really hard to do this job when something is going on. Yeah. Yeah, because you are a storyteller. Mm-hmm. I remember thinking about that way back when I was first performing. Mm-hmm. It's like I had this one moment of realization that we were in this playing a gig in this bar. And I sort of realized that this is a kind of tribalism. Mm-hmm. That, you know, even though we were a cover band playing cover songs and there were people wasted out of their minds trying to get laid and you know Mm -hmm. woo 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 and having a good time but they were all dancing Mm -hmm. and we were all playing and i was like oh this is the most ancient thing in the world the repetition of stories right right so as a singer you carry that burden i think most acutely Mm -hmm. as someone who has to carry the narrative Mm -hmm. of whatever the ceremonial aspect is yeah so you've played wedding gigs before yes have you done a lot of them? No. I did a lot of them. Yeah, you you were in a... That was your job at some point. That was point. my job, yeah. yeah. There was a period of time in my life when I was in two bands, two cover bands. Mm-hmm. One of them would play bars like three nights a week, and then I was in a wedding band that was making really good money in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we were like a seven-piece, no, like a nine-piece, something like that. Mm. And we played all the big weddings and because we had this promoter agent and Mm -hmm. she would she was really tied in with the jewish community in san francisco Mm -hmm. joanne that was her name Mm -hmm. we did a lot of bar mitzvahs we Mm -hmm. did a lot of weddings in san francisco we did a lot of these kind of strange san francisco corporate parties in these dark rooms 
made some pretty good money, but there's, you know, there's a, it's an exhausting gig mm -hmm. because you have to be there for hours and hours and hours. Oh, yeah, it's, it, yeah. Yeah. The, the wedding crowd is a funny crowd mm -hmm. because they're all formally dressed mm -hmm. and they're trying to cut loose. Yeah. And eventually with enough alcohol, they will and they don't give a shit. Yeah. But it's just, just kind of a funny gig. Did and, you notice yeah. that there's always at least one incident that happens at every wedding? Like yeah, some weird drama. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At one person, at least one person at every wedding mm -hmm. goes a little bit, you know, says something or does something, gets too drunk, mm -hmm. whatever. Or there's, you know, some weird energy with someone. Because you get that many people together yeah. for a whole night. Yeah. And I think something's bound to happen. I think it's family stuff. Family and, stuff, yeah. You know, so we had in, in this movie, we had Steve Buscemi, mm -hmm. who was the brother mm -hmm. of the one groom. of the grooms yeah. for the first wedding gig that we saw mm -hmm. that Adam Sandler was doing. And it was just a brilliant cameo. He's brilliant, yeah. He's so good. The, the acting was impeccable. It was, it was just, the it was perfect so, drunk the brother. The most believable thing yeah. I had ever yeah. seen. It was perfect. Perfect drunk brother. <laughs> and then at the end, he is the wedding singer. Right.